Welcome back to another little video. I said I was going to do a little weekend vlog of our little trip through to Edinburgh and that is exactly what I'm going to be doing today. So, big man's here. And we are going through, we're actually staying at the House of God's Hotel tonight. Um, this is kind of part of Chrissy's birthday but I'm actually working with them so really excited to go. I've seen loads of other people go to the hotel, it looks really, really cool and also it's got the Casablanca bar which does really unique cocktails and yeah just excited for a little night in the capital i love going through to edinburgh we were planning to leave about 10 it's now 20 to 11 but we're going to go through and go to portobello first we walk along the beach get a coffee something to eat and yeah just take our time and enjoy our weekend so of course i will take you all with us and yeah if you want to see what we get up to then just stay tuned Quite a few hours later now and we are in the House of God's Hotel. You might be able to tell because it's very dark in the background. We've only been here literally 15 minutes and it's honestly such a cool concept. We've got a little button that you can press for Prosecco. I've not even pressed it yet and somebody's already brought us a second glass of Prosecco so that could be that could be a slippery slope. The hotel is so like dark and moody vibes as soon as you come in. The bar is I don't know, it's like something I've never seen before. We've also got the Castle Blanca bar to go to tonight, so I'll obviously show you that. I'm very warm because we've just been walking from the car to here. I thought I'd give you a quick little room tour. You come in and this mirror is on the back of the door. So you come in and you've got a little wet room here. I love the marble tiles in here, it's gorgeous. As you come down to here, you've got a nice little bar set up. So this is the little button that I was talking about. So there's a button on here that we can literally just press and they'll just bring us unlimited Prosecco. So we have the locked up Like I'm Famous package which includes a pizza, drinks on arrival, unlimited Prosecco with this little button and also the £50 bar fee down at the Casablanca bar. So when we arrived they gave us these cute little coops of Prosecco and I've already been to the door with another two glasses of Prosecco. Then moving around this way, you've got the big four poster bed. I've never seen a hotel like this before. Here behind this mirror is a coffee machine for the morning. So we'll be making good use of that. I love that everything's like hidden away. Okay, they have like vanity lights above here, which makes this room so much brighter. So I will be making good use of this. There's a little cosy set up here. We did have like 10 chocolates and Chris and I have both eaten them. Then moving over here, they've given us a little cocktail menu for the Casablanca bar. And then this is the bed, which they've set up with lovely little balloons and a little note card to tell us all about our package. So super excited for our stay. I'll show you the rest of the hotel when we go out. But yeah, thank you so much to the House of Gods Hotel for having us.
Good morning. It is a full week later. We're now at another weekend since I said I was doing a weekend vlog. Every time I try to do a weekend vlog, they just never end up being long enough. Even though I felt like I was filming a lot when I was away, it never really equated too much. So yeah, I edited the video and it just wasn't long enough to put up. So I thought I would vlog over this weekend. And then it can be like two weekends. So it's still a weekend vlog basically. I actually started filming another vlog last night which was going to be like a little glow up vlog and I used a new hair mask in that vlog and now the glow up vlog has pretty much went to shit because the hair mask I used in my hair like is definitely not going to be one that I would like to recommend. It was the first time I was trying it out. It was going to give you a little first impressions and yeah it just it just was not good. I washed my hair but my hair now feels like it hasn't been washed. I've got like a can of dry shampoo in it to try and make it look like it's clean. You know, even products kind of like left over and sticky in your hair. That is kind of what my head feels like right now. So not good. So yeah, the glow up vlog will be coming, but I'll film it next week instead. My tan also went funny on my hands, which never happens. So yeah. So yeah, I spent quite a wee while this morning trying to like cuddle all my hair, and because of whatever this product's done to my hair, it's just my hair's not held any form of curl. So we have this kind of straight voluminous god knows what look going on today but I'm actually really looking forward to today it's Saturday I had a really nice slow morning I did a wee bit of admin um, email catch up sent some invoices over and also had a nice little scroll through Pinterest so saving some ideas for the study because that'll probably be once we've done our bedroom which the wardrobes are getting done for that tomorrow which I'm really excited about the study is going to be the next room that I tackle so I like to go on and have a little scroll now and again to just get some ideas had a lovely morning had a nice little breakfast put a washing out because it's absolutely stunning weather again it's really nice and warm speaking of warm i'm melting in this car but if i turn my car on the aircon will come on and you won't be able to hear me so i'm melting now i'm heading to pick up my brother or i think he's going to drive actually and um, we're having a little brother and sister day out me and my brother got on really well and um, we try to have little days out or go walks or things like that just because obviously we don't live in the same house anymore and um, I still want to make sure that I get to see him and catch up and whatnot so I think we're just going to go find somewhere for a nice little coffee hopefully outside I'd like to sit outside today because like I said it's a gorgeous day and yeah maybe try and get some steps in and then I'm making a kind of mushroom rigatoni pasta tonight I haven't mentioned this because I wasn't sure if I was going to mention it or not but I have been shown like some recipes and stuff I've been making so I thought I would just bite the bullet and tell you so basically I am doing Slimming World so if you're not interested in like weight loss or like talking about body or anything that triggers you then please just skip this part of the video but I thought that it would be nice to share just because I'm sure some of you can relate basically I've struggled with body image and like gaining weight losing weight yo-yo dieting like all that stuff for years and to be honest I'm just kind of sick fed up of just not feeling good in myself I feel like I'm always trying to eat well I feel like I'm always on a diet of some kind and yeah just never really feeling like I'm getting anywhere even though I feel like I'm like not having all the things that I like so really random one night I was on Instagram and this girl's, um, it was a photo of our dinner that popped up and I was like, wow, that looks so good. And then on our page, I, I just thought it was like a recipes page and I realised it was Slimming Worlds and I was like, wow, some of those things look really nice. So yeah, messaged my mum because of course Linda's in on it. Um, me and her are just the exact same when it comes to weight, like weight gain, weight loss and stuff like that. We're the exact same. So I said to her, do you want to go? So we joined um, and we had our first proper weigh-in last week and I managed to lose three pounds. So I'm really pleased. So yeah, even though I had my weekend away, I still managed to lose three pounds. Usually I would lose some weight during the weekend then whatever I do at the weekend, like I put it back on and I was just never really getting anywhere. So I've got another weigh-in this week coming. So I will obviously keep you up to date if you want me to. I just thought it would be nice to kind of share what I'm doing, snippets of it here and there. This isn't like a diet and vlog or anything like that. Um, it's just what I'm doing and I just thought I would share it with you. So yeah, I made a really nice Big Mac burger bowl last night and it was delicious. It was so, so good. And the good thing about doing this as well is I feel like I can make really nice meals for me and Chris to enjoy rather than like feeling like I have to make myself something and then make him something else. Like I said, I'm not like an advocate for Slimming World or anything like that. I'm not promoting Slimming World, nothing like that. I'm just, this is what I'm doing right now and I thought I would share it with you because I'm feeling really positive about it and I also felt that like sharing it would maybe keep me accountable as well um, if I'm checking in with you as well. So yeah I just wanted to tell you that um, and let's get on with the rest of the vlog now.
Just jumping on to end this vlog, I actually did an outro the other day and for whatever reason when I've loaded the files onto the laptop they just don't work. So I'm here to end the vlog again. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's probably a little shorter than my usual vlogs. Let me know if you prefer this length of video or do you prefer when I drone on and the video ends up being like 40 minutes long. Um, you can let me know below what you prefer. And yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching another video. I really do appreciate it and I will see you in another video really, really soon.